Anar a la casa d'en Paul a Liverpool suposa haver de pagar i més demanar hora d'antelació, ja que és propietat del National Trust. Un cop vaig estar allà, vaig poder visitar tota la casa sense fer ni fotos ni vídeos, ja que m'ho van prohibir. En un moment de la visita, al pis de dalt, vaig veure que hi havia una porta tancada amb candau, així que vaig preguntar el que la guia em va respondre que abans aquí vivia un home guardant la casa, però que ja no hi era. Al final de la visita, quan tots se'n van anar, em vaig acostar a la guia encarregada de la casa d'en Paul, fent veure que ja hi havia estat allà. Li vaig dir que havia conegut en Halliday en una visita anterior i que el volia tornar a veure. Li vaig preguntar, on és? I em va dir, he's gone. I va canviar de tema de cop, però després li vaig insistir. Li vaig dir, ei, per què no està aquí? I va dir, no t'ho puc dir. I dic, bueno, jo em puc trobar-lo. I em va dir, tampoc et puc parlar d'això, només et puc dir que no hi és. Es va posar seriosa i jo, clar, evidentment em vaig incomodar. Així que em vaig acomiadar i me'n vaig anar fora del carrer a buscar un taxi. Aleshores va venir un home gran, em va veure i es va acostar a parlar. Li vaig dir que estava a Liverpool pels Beatles i vam començar a parlar d'en Paul. A qui, per cert, ell va conèixer. Em va explicar una anècdota interessant. Es veu que un dia en Paul va anar a Liverpool amb el seu fill James, anaven en cotxe i es van parlar al final del carrer de la casa d'en Paul McCartney. L'home es va acostar i li va dir, que ja no te'n recordes d'on venies? Ja no recordes on és la casa d'en Paul McCartney? Quan m'ho explicar vam riure i li vaig dir, aviam, però si és casa seva, evidentment que se'n recorda. I va dir, va dir, bé, tampoc ha vingut molt per aquí des que se'n va anar. Ell ja no és de Liverpool. Puc assegurar que si és un dia per allà pot reconèixer l'accent de Liverpool i definitivament no és el d'en Fall. La gent del carrer, quan hi parles, et diuen que el seu accent va desaparèixer d'un dia per l'altre, que es va esfumar. Era una cosa que no vaig oblidar, evidentment, és el que és el fondest. Ups! Ups! Hvad var det? Det var bare en blå blind. Det var John. Jeg vil sige noget, mand. Det er f***ing weird, mand. Det er okay. Det er okay. Det er okay. Det er okay. Det er John. Han er tilbage igen, kan du se? Først af alt, hvad den præsentation betyder til dig? Jeg må sige, det betyder ikke noget til mig, til jeg kom der. Fordi, du ved, det er bare nogle idéer, som nogen havde. Og du ved, det har kun været to eller tre år siden. It didn't really mean that much to me, but somebody said, you know, it mightn't seem like much now, but it is history, and you'll enjoy it. So I went along, and I was glad I went. Had a great night after everybody settled down. It was a bit hectic, and uh, it was fantastic just to see all those people and little Richard and you know all the guys there. Really enjoyed it. But now, as I've got my little statue that says the Beatles Hall of Fame, and I'm sure as it goes more into the future, you know, it's going to be something which I'm glad, certainly glad I'd miss it. Are you saddened that Paul McCartney wasn't able to appear? Uh, for him, I'm, uh, it's a pity he missed it because he would have had a good time. You know, it was nice to see people say, well, after all that we've done, you know, that's all it was, really, get the lads here, give them a pat on the back and give them the medal. And it's a shame he missed it because he contributed so much to it, but... It didn't spoil our night. We still had fun without him. Have you been able to have any reconciliation with, with Paul since that particular event? Oh, he's okay, yeah. He's okay. He just was trying to use that situation for some personal motive that he had, and it just didn't work. But, you know, we're long past all the squabbles now. How did you feel when you heard the McCartney versions of the old songs on uh, Broad Street? I think they were okay. I didn't notice that they were... New versions. <laughs> I, don't, I only watched it once. I quite liked it, but I don't, I don't really. I remember dancing, all that one about ballroom dancing and stuff. I don't remember the old ones. 
he said that he wanted to tackle some of the other old songs, including possibly some of John Lennon's songs, like uh, Beautiful Boy and Imagine. Does that surprise you that he would do that? Oh, yeah. Maybe because he ran out of good ones of his own. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we've got that on record. <laughs> oh, it's true. For the last few years, I've said my mind to him, you know, just whenever I felt something like, you know, thing like Broad Street, I thought was a big mistake. Not to make the film, because I quite enjoyed it myself, but the idea of trying to write and do everything yourself, that's the mistake. Paul had asked, you know, and, uh, had suggested maybe the chance of me and he writing together something. And, uh, I mean, it's pretty funny, really, because, I mean, I've only been there about 30 years in Paul's life, and it's like now he wants to write with me. But I think it's maybe quite interesting. <laughs>